thing off for. Get the door open, man. Get him out through here. Come on. When the guardians of our streets find themselves in peril, it's not always fellow officers who rush to their aid. Sometimes it's the unsung heroes among us, the Good Samaritans, who step up without hesitation. Here are seven instances of Good Samaritans coming to the rescue of law enforcement officers. Their bravery knows no uniform, and their courage knows no bounds. On September 22nd of 2021, a state police officer in New Mexico stopped to assist someone with a flat tire near Albuquerque. However, the situation escalated when the officer's superior informed them that the vehicle matched one wanted by the authorities in New York. Despite the driver's initial reluctance for assistance, the officer persisted only to discover that they were dealing with high-end Deng, wanted for the murder of her married boyfriend in Queens. Yes, you heard that correctly. The officer attempted to apprehend the suspect, and fortunately a compassionate bystander passing by witnessed the situation and intervened to assist. With their help, the officer successfully handcuffed the suspect and uncovered a firearm concealed in a backpack inside of her car. Yeah, you still you still here? What happened? He don't come in. Oh, he's still not here? Yeah, one hour. One hour? You just 30 minutes. Okay, you want me to see if I can help you? No, my friends come. Okay, is he coming from Albuquerque? Ooh, is he bringing you a flat tire? Is he bringing you a tire? Hey, you can bring me the. You can be. You can take me go here. You can take me go here. Thank you. Oh, you want me to take you yeah, there? Yeah, you take me. Oh well, um, let me see. I, I, but are they still gonna come get you? Yeah, he come here. I, the car go. Oh, okay. You take me? Uh, I don't know yet. Let me see. Uh, let me see what. Let me see what your car looks like. See, maybe I ha I have a tire. I can help you with it. You can help me? Yeah. Let's see. Ooh, you did a good job. What happened? Stand stand over here, out of the street, okay? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Let me see if I could take you there to Manal. You, you take me out. Yeah, and I'll be able to take you. Another one? Yeah. At first, the officer's encounter with Deng seemed to be smooth. There was no vibe suggesting she could be a killer. She appeared innocent, chatting politely and exuding confidence, as if she had done nothing wrong. But then when the officer ran her license plate for standard security checks, things took a drastic turn. It's only that side? Yes. Let's see on this side. This is okay. Oh. Just this. You don't have one inside there? No. no. It's just a uh, bump. Let me see. Let's go over here and then let me go see if I could get a, a tire and they could come fix it for you and you could just go. Let's go over here. Where are you coming from? Let's walk this way. Where are you coming from? I see my bed. Oh no, I'm gonna go see if they can get a, a, a tire for you. No, I'll take my bag. No, you don't need your bag. What, uh, where are you coming from? I'm from You're coming from Pennsylvania? Dang. It's far away. How far? After a small amount of chit chat with Ding, the officer got some information, and it turns out that there was a homicide in New York, and she was the wanted killer. So the officer began playing it smart, asking her her name and keeping up with small talk until more officers could arrive for backup. How long have you been here? I call again. How long have you been staying here for an hour? Just hey. 20 minutes. 20, you've been here for 20 minutes? 15 minutes. No, you've been here for about a good hour. No. No, right here you've been here for a good hour. I've been here just 20 minutes, yeah? Yeah, about, yeah. Let me see if I could get a tire and they'll come fix it for you. And then you can head on your way. He can fix it? Yeah, but I got to see if I could get a tire for you. Cannot fix it. You have to. Yeah, because you don't have a spare. Yeah. All right. I don't have a spare. He, he have the spare? Uh, yeah, I'm calling someone to see if they have a spare for you. Yeah. All right. Let me see. I got to keep calling numbers. Okay? The first time I came, it was like an hour ago. You come here for an hour? Yeah. And then I wanted to check on you again because I didn't know. 
Let me call this person right here. They hung up on me. Yep. Yeah, they're checking right now. The officer now knows something fishy is going on. She's also learned about the homicide in New York. Deng's acting was clever, trying to make her way towards the vehicle. But that's when the officer plays it smart and doesn't allow her near the car. Who knows what dangers could be lurking inside? What was your name? What's your name? Juan. Juan? Juan. Juan? W-A-N-G. Oh, W-A-N-G. I'm Selena. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hello. They're checking right now to see if they got any tires. How long he can? They're, they're right here in this next town right here. Okay. They're coming here? They're coming here. If they have one. No, not one hour. Less than one hour. Yeah. Because it's just right here in the next town. They're going to call me back. So I get the car? Is Are you cold? cold? Oh, okay, hold on. Just wait for a minute. Is it cold? Yeah. Aren't you from Pennsylvania? It's not cold there? Oh, no. It's warm? I go to the car and take the clothes. Oh, you need clothes from there? Yeah. Okay, hold on. What did you, what did you need from there? What? What did you need from there? What do you need? What, what do you need from there? Well, just hold on, okay? Right, right here. Wait, right here. Wait, right here. I don't know, cause I don't know what's in your car. Hold on. You just need a sweater. Yeah. Okay. Is it in the front or the back? Yeah. Let me see. Hold on. Okay. Well, I don't I don't know what's in there. I just got to make sure there's no one else or anything else in there. You can open it. Okay. Just for right now, let me see if um your hands. Let me see your hand. Why? So I'm going to just detain you for a little bit until I figure out what's in your car. What? Let me see what's in your car and then I'll get you your jacket. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What the mean? Why? Huh? Because I'm going to see what's in your car. Why, why you... Huh? Why you cut me? No, I'm going to just detain you for I can see. Get your sweater. Yeah, but... but what, what, why you cut me? What? Why you cut me? Because I'm going to get your sweater. Well, the fear on her face was obvious when the officer mentioned checking her car, and thankfully she didn't let her open it, sensing that there may be something harmful inside. However, handcuffing her would not be easy. Out of the blue, a good Samaritan appeared to lend a helping hand and place the handcuffs on her. Hey, what's in your car? Ow. You're not going to get back. You can see it. Okay. You can see it. I hold on. Okay. You, you can see it. Turn around. Okay. Turn around. Oh my God. Uh -huh. Stop. Get on, uh, your back. Get on your belly. Stop. Okay, I Stop. I know. What happened? You? Uh, 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 Stop. What happened? Tell Stop. me. I don't know you. I don't know you either. But Stop we, moving. For weapons. Uh, uh, uh. Who are you? He's helping I'm me because you kept moving. Who are you? I'm helping the cop. Stop. Get up. Get up. Out of nowhere, a man appears trying to assist the officers. He told them how he had seen them trying to handcuff her, so he ran in to help. He was truly a man without a uniform, but with bravery and kindness shining through. I'm gonna stand right here. Come on. He's good. He's good. He's good. I appreciate you. Are you okay? Yeah. When I was coming, I was coming you. down the road and I looked over and I saw you wrestling with her. I hit the shoulder and backed up and ran over here to help her. I appreciate you. Man. Yes, ma'am. I remember Are you. From you. New I Mexico? Talked, here? Yeah, I talked to you at the Maverick station on Wantabo that morning when the weather was all nasty. I don't remember, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's no big deal. You're dealing with all the big wreck and the big pile up and all that stuff. Right. Yeah, I remember your face. So. I told you not to get in the car. You kept on trying to get into it. You're just going to wait here, okay? You good? Oh, yeah. Sorry, dude. No, dude. It's all good. I heard, I heard you guys running cold that way. I was like, okay, I know they're close. Upon a search of the vehicle, it would be discovered that there was a gun inside. Imagine a killer roaming freely in an open place. What harm could she have done? But thankfully, after the efforts of both the officer and the man, she was handcuffed. 
Her drama was not over yet, though, and even after being handcuffed in the patrol car, she started to ask for the belt to be loosened, claiming that she was two months pregnant. You all right? No. It's, What's it's, going on? It's hot. It's what? It's, 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 it's tight? Yeah, it's tight, too tight. Okay. And I have a baby, it's all my... Are you pregnant? Yes. How many months? Two. Two months? I said, oh. Okay. Well, I can oh, still put you. God. You can't lean on it because I can still put my fingers through it, so it's not that tight. It's that tight. You got to You got to sit up. You have to sit up. Sit up. Sit up. Sit up no, straight. That like that. It's too it, tight. Okay. Hold on then. I don't go. Trust me. Okay. I will trust you now. Ultimately, Ding was charged with resisting arrest and is presently awaiting extradition back to New York to answer on charges of murder. Moving on, another officer found themselves in a confrontation with a violent suspect, but two members of the public stepped in to assist. In May of 2021 in Volusia County, Florida, a dramatic incident takes place during a routine traffic stop when a Florida deputy found himself under attack by a suspect. Deputy Anthony Zimmerer initiated the stop with the driver, identified as 41-year-old Frank Padilla Velez. But the encounter quickly spiraled into chaos as Velez began behaving erratically. As the officer attempted to handcuff him, Velez resisted and struck him in the head with his elbow, sparking a struggle. However, the situation took a remarkable turn as two courageous Samaritans witnessed the altercation and sprung into action. Putting aside their own safety, they intervened to assist the deputy in apprehending the man. What are you doing? Come here. Come here. Come here. What are you doing? Come here. Come here. Come here. Calm down, calm down. Okay. What is it? What are you doing? You're, you're, you're crazy. You're going crazy here. Call okay. Call we are. What is going on? Because you about you almost crashed call into me. me. Go, 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 go. Calm down. What's your name? Frampadilla. Frampolina. Call my law. No, 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 no. You gotta stay right here. Come back here a second. Come back here a sec. Hey. No, 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 sir, sir. Come back here, man. Come on, come on. Put your hands on your back. Put your hands on your back. Put your hands on your back. Put your hands on your back, man. Put your hands on your back. Stop. Come down. Ah, don't, 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 don't do that. As you can see, Velez can be seen acting unusual from the very beginning, and the officer knew he wouldn't be easy to handle. That's exactly what took place. When he tried to arrest him and place him in handcuffs, Velez used every bit of force to escape, but the help of the Samaritans played a crucial role. Hey, hey, get, get on the ground. Get on the ground. Put your hand behind your back. 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 Nobody's gonna kill you. Yeah, I wanna do it. Hey, what? You're, you're bleeding? Uh, you good? Yeah. Everybody okay? We're going to rescue? Oh. Hey! Yeah. Relax. Yeah. Relax. Yeah. Relax. Yeah. I'm in my face. Oh. Oh. Hey. Check your heart. Hey. Check, it. Check your heart. The two men stepped in to help the officer, and one of them even got hit by Velez, resulting in bloodshed. The bravery displayed by these men in helping the officer was truly remarkable. When citizens actively assist law enforcement officers during emergencies, they contribute to public safety and the well-being of their communities. These brave actions serve as a powerful reminder of the vital role civilians play in supporting law enforcement. Oh, okay, so you're just a witness bystander? Witness. I pulled in here. This is this truck and the dog jumped out, so I put the dog back in the truck. Oh, okay. So can I get... Can yeah, I get you my brain going on. You good, sir? Yeah. Your officer was just talking to him. Yeah. He shoved your officer, tried to run away. Your officer grabbed his hand. Your officer... Oh, the guy tried to run away. In the end, Velez would be charged with multiple offenses, which included resisting an officer with violence, battery on a law enforcement officer, 
driving on a suspended license, careless driving, and possessing expired registration. Additionally, Sheriff Mike Chitwood would commend the brave actions of the Samaritans, announcing that they would receive citizens' awards for their courageous intervention. And just like these two individuals, our next case sees two men who promptly stepped in to assist an officer. In August of 2023 in Pecos, Texas, a pregnant officer bravely confronted a suspect during a high-speed chase. The ordeal begins when Steve Jimenez, age 39, had sought to evade arrest by driving aggressively and even ramming the officer's vehicle. Displaying remarkable skills, the officer had successfully executed a pit maneuver, prompting Jimenez to flee on foot. Despite the situation, a compassionate bystander intervened to aid the pregnant officer. And ultimately, Jimenez would be apprehended, facing legal consequences following his release from the hospital. 10 for in my location, I'm going um, going to be going south on 63. We're almost to I-25. If somebody can set up some spikes right there, he's on the opposite lane of travel right now. He is all over the roadway. Yeah, at the 307. To the interstate from 63 south on the 95 area, 10 yeah, 10 4. We're coming up to the 307. I'll let you know if he goes um, north or south. He's trying to. He, he's just. He's trying to ram me off the road. He's. He just crashed me. He, he's trying to pull. He's trying to get me to pull over. He just rammed me. 10 4. He's right behind me. He just rammed me. He pulled off to the side of the road. He is turning around now. Please let Santa Fe Regional know. I think he's going to try to go back to the house. He's driving all over the road. I'm passing Caballo Lane. I'm going back north on 63. We're coming up on the one, the one mile marker. He's in the opposite lane of travel right now. Should I try to... I think I'm going to pit him because he's... Are there any units closer to me so I can pit him and we can contain the vehicle? He's in opposite lane of travel right now. He's putting other people in danger. 10-4, looks like he's gonna try, he's slowing down. He's gonna take Old Denver Highway. Initially, it appeared as though the suspect was simply attempting to flee from the officer. However, the situation would quickly escalate into a frightening turn of events as he began to lash out at everything in his path. It was at this point that things took a dramatic and alarming turn, spiraling into chaos and becoming increasingly difficult to manage. 10-4, he's not going to take Old Denver Highway. He has a tire iron. Bellini, stop. 146 income. He has, there's a biker. No, he just. Uh, get off the road. Can you get off the road? He's dangerous. Get off the road. 120. 146 Sencom. He is still driving down 63. We're going towards into Pagos. He attempted to hit a person on a bike. 146 Sencom. There are more people on the bikes. I'm going to hit him. Head on. 146 Sencom. He's still going. He's he's crashing my vehicle intentionally as well. We're here at the two. He's on foot. 146 Sencom. He's running at me. Stop! situation could have easily spiraled out of control if it were not for the courageous actions of the Samaritan. Not only did he prevent the suspect from reaching his car, but also stepped forward to lend a helping hand to the officer during the arrest, providing much needed support in a critical moment. Don't let him get in! Stop, stop! Stop! Don't do it! Cut it out, cut it out, cut it out! Thank you! Cut it out! Stop, stop! Cut it out, cut He's trying to stop. No, he's trying to grab my gun. Get the other clip. Get the other clip. Get the other clip. I'm gonna take him. 
I'm gonna take it out. Put it out. Put it out. What's your problem? Stop resisting. Just let it go. Cut it out. Stop. I'm gonna you. Stop. Cut it out. Stop. I'm gonna tase you. I will tase you. I 146 and come one mile detained. Oh, We're on 63. The f Hold up, my knee. Shut the f up. Right, you guys are f. Hold up. You guys are f. I go finish taking me home. Shut the f up. Are you sure to give me a shot? You made that fight here. The suspect's resistance was intense. Despite the assistance from the Samaritan, the officer soon recognized the need for additional backup and promptly called for help, which arrived just in time before both the pregnant officer and the Samaritan had reached the point of exhaustion. I checked him for weapons. Hold up. I'm pregnant. So I need to. I need to guess. Stop! Resisting right now! Up now! You understand? Yes! Well then, up! Leave me alone! Be quiet! He tried killing that lady. This is Bruce B. I know you hit me. And I spun out of control. Stop it! I said, help me. I wanted to, but I just put him on. Now you're going to break my should we do? Oh, there we go. Okay. Wait, let me get you Shut up. Oh, I just there. What are you guys doing? Shut up. Me? Be quiet. Hold up, okay? I told her to stop. I told ah, you to stop. Be quiet. Be quiet. Ah. Hold up, let me take okay. this off, okay? You guys are going to me? Turn you up. You guys are going to me? Oh. Shut up. No, let me do it by myself. I'll put it in the back. Stop oh, I pulling can. up. Stop okay, pulling up. Do this. Okay, I'm gonna I grab it. Hold up. Back hold up, hold up, let me grab it. Okay, I'll give it to you. Stop! I'll give it to you. Stop! It's like you tried to grab my gun. Shut up, no, I don't I trust you. Don't touch me. Thanks to the invaluable aid that was provided by the Samaritan and the swift intervention of a second officer, the escalating situation was successfully brought under control, and the suspect was ultimately restrained and handcuffed. The suspect was still showing no signs of remorse, however. You ran over me with the car. Be quiet, oh, dude. You that. freaking hit me. I tried you to came at me. Multiple times, I think oh, okay. I'm gonna get um gloves and stuff. I'm gonna just pat him down. I can do this. Let's sit him up because he's on his. At least on his. My mama knows everything. Anybody else? He didn't want to help me. Shut up. I believe. I don't care. Shut up. Don't talk to me. I don't care. I have a car for it. I have a cannabis car. But I need my fucking... the tire shop. Steven Jimenez is facing a total of nine charges, which include three counts of aggravated assault against police officers, along with an additional charge of aggravated assault and battery, resisting arrest, evading police, property damage, and unlawfully taking a vehicle. He'll be held in custody without the option for bond. But if you thought that Samaritan was the epitome of cool, wait until you hear about these next guys who took a risk to assist both the police and a civilian in distress. In Watsonville, California, December of 2022, a tense situation unfolds as bystanders hurry to assist police officers attempting to rescue a 65-year-old cyclist who's trapped beneath a car. The officers were in pursuit of a driver in a stolen Honda when he abruptly abandoned the vehicle, causing it to collide with the cyclist. Thankfully, the 65-year-old cyclist was extricated with the assistance of the Good Samaritans. Let's try to lift it this way, dude, if we can. Everybody, you get it in over here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I don't think that's gonna help. It's not. Help! 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 Lift the car up! Hold on! Lift! 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 Hold on! He's shut up! More! More! Lift! Hold on! What do you want help? 
One, two, three, go! Uh. Okay, 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 okay. Good job, guys, good job, good job. Good job. Uh. There's someone outside. Yeah, I don't know, Sanchez got it. No. Hold on, let him, let him, let him, put him on his back, put him on his back. Put him on his back. So, just moments after the crash, 22-year-old Enrique Garcia was apprehended and is now facing numerous charges in connection to this alarming incident. Next up, some people who saw a police officer involved in a traffic accident and rushed to the rescue. On May the 2nd of 2022, the tranquility of a Milwaukee intersection in Wisconsin would be shattered when a reckless driver ran a red light, colliding with a police patrol car. The impact caused the police car to tip over and strike a pole, trapping the officer inside. Fortunately, nearby bystanders quickly sprang into action, pushing the car upright to free the officer. Gratitude was in the air as the officer expressed thanks to those who had assisted. Witnesses would provide accounts of the speeding vehicle, estimating its speed to be at least 60 miles an hour. Both the officer and the 33-year-old female driver had sustained non-life-threatening injuries, highlighting the perils of reckless driving. You okay? I'm okay. Just hang on. Just hang on. Just hang on. Just hang on. Just hang out, just hang out. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I've never been in a car accident. I've never been in a car accident. While the male police officer appeared relatively calm and stable, the state of the female was increasingly concerning. Her restlessness, heightened with each passing minute, signaled an urgent need for first aid. The seriousness of her condition became increasingly apparent, underscoring the urgency for immediate medical attention. Just take a deep breath. Thank you, Just take a deep breath. Take, take two breaths, sorry. At this juncture, both officers trapped in the overturned vehicle were secured by police. And moreover, law enforcement had successfully located a witness, ensuring the area's security, all thanks to the assistance of cooperative Samaritans who generously volunteered the help. We got a witness right here. Uh, we got a good witness. Right here. Yeah. All right, stick them in. Find a car to put them in. You okay? I'm good. 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 I'
Can you It's all right. No, so just take these rocks here. Okay, take them over. You did good. Hey, can you just check my cell phone? It should be over there somewhere. I flew out of my phone. Yeah. 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 According to court records, the suspect driver is currently facing a misdemeanor charge for reckless driving, resulting in injury. The charge emphasizes the potential repercussions of irresponsible behavior behind the wheel, emphasizing the significance of responsible driving practices to safeguard all road users. We now turn our attention to another incident where not only one, but several bystanders stepped in to help save the life of a driver. In October of 2018 in North Brunswick, New Jersey, Officer Anthony Torres, during a routine patrol, had discovered a smoking SUV that had crashed into a wooded area near Finnegan's Lane. Moving quickly, he, along with other several compassionate Samaritans, had embarked on a courageous rescue mission to free two women who were trapped inside the vehicle. As flames intensified, they worked together cutting the seat belts, bending door frames, and pulling the women to safety only moments before the car was consumed by fire. Their selfless actions showcased the remarkable power of human kindness and collaboration in challenging circumstances. And these women will forever be indebted to them for having saved their lives. Thirteen seconds, Joe. Put me out with a signal four. One thirty, and Finnegan. I got it, buddy. I got it. I got it. I got it. Let's go. Let's go. That's informative. Can you come out? Are you able to step out? Okay, you want to know pull it out? Come on, huh? Anyone in the area of the Come on, guys. Car's on fire. You got it? Is there anyone else inside? I don't know. My house is right there. All I heard was that. There's nobody else in the car. The trailer hit your Why is it always right here? It was that trailer. It was a trailer. Right there. Anybody see what happened? Right there. The little car. Nah. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right Dude, whose car is that in the middle over there? You got to move it. You got to move it. Whose car is that over there? Yo, we got Whose car is that over there? That's me. Come on. Let's get out of here. But just imagine if these good Samaritans had not been there. How would the officer alone have taken both of them out of the car? With the help of these people, the officer had managed to extract them from the vehicle. But the moment they took them out, the car then gets engulfed in flames. Who saw? Right so who saw it? Anybody see it? No way. Don't, don't, don't get them out. That's my house right there. I was in the back. And Do me a favor, man. Uh, who you live over there? My wife and kids. Can you start calling them, tell them to get out? Yeah, 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 and then go, tell, go tell her. Yeah, you want me to go do it? Yeah, and can you tell the neighbor? Tell the neighbor, too, to get out. No, And nobody here saw what happened? I was just driving well, around. I heard I saw, everything that happened. I heard the car just going right into the tree. I was just driving around, and I saw the car on fire. You driving that truck? Yeah. Just wait inside the truck. No, yeah, but I got to go close. I'm going to You got to wait, dude. You got to wait. Yeah. Too bad. You got to wait. Just wait inside the truck. Get your thing on your lines, okay? Just as the ambulance was called to rescue, the fire brigade was also summoned because there was a fire engulfing the car. Imagine if these people were not there. The ladies may have not survived or could have been seriously harmed or burned. They're, they're gonna get your family, all right? No, yeah, my family got out the Okay. Just all right, can you just tell them to get the neighbor out as well? All right. Yo, can you call her and just tell her to get the neighbors out, please? No dude, instead of recording it, dude, hey, do me a favor. Instead of recording, start calling people, man, all right? How long, how long was that car there before? Because I, I heard, boom. Yeah, I saw, I saw whoever parked, and then I see this car here. 
All I, all I heard it happen, I, I just knew it. I just started running right through here, came around, and I seen them, and I just started trying to get everybody out. The level of passion that these people were showing to help the officers was truly amazing. And despite everything, the officer on duty was extracting information from everyone who was an eyewitness, piecing together exactly what happened to determine who was at fault in the accident. Huh? Yeah, why do you have to know? You, I need your documents. Go grab me your documents. Uh, hey, Billy, can you can you grab his documents? I, to do I still need it, though. Uh, All right. I still need it. Yeah, but I Because I, I got to figure out where her story is. So once I figure no, out her story. I got to do with the accident. I'll okay. You know, I see the accident. That's what I'm Okay. Senora, ¿tú puedes hablar conmigo? ¿Tú sabes qué pasó? Yo venía, tú sabes, cuando estuvieron un poco rápido y la luz amarilla no te da tiempo a frenar. Y lo que hicimos acá está leer. Y vino un trailer y se me atravesó. Ok, ¿cuál? So, estamos cruzando enfrente de ti. Como para acá. Ajá. Elen, tú ibas directamente para acá. Sí. So, para tú chocaste el carro o no? Yo. Okay, but this guy who is here, this camioneta, you didn't see it, right? Okay, so you didn't see it? Yeah, she said she was I guess she said she was going this way. No. And that there was a car coming. Yeah, right there. Which car? The Dodge. The Dodge. The Dodge over there? Yeah. Hey, do me a favor, man. Can you go grab that Dodge's information? Ah, nothing. I just saw it. Okay. So. She was going straight. No, no, she was going the same way, southbound. Uh -huh. Yes. Let me just grab your phone number, then you can go, all right? Uh, he almost already got it. All right. He's walking across with it now. All right, thank you, buddy. You're good, all right? Thank you. No charges were brought against the woman, and thankfully she emerged unharmed and safe. And once again, many individuals had rushed in to help aid and save a life.